Today's dish of the week is a nice easy one and it's a follow on from a how to where we dry brined this double cut monster pork chop for Philip Warren Butchers. So I'm going to show you how we prepare it. We're going to put some Cajun seasoning on it, we're going to sear it and then we're going to move it to the indirect side, bring it up to temperature. It's going to be damn good. So this obviously we salted last night so it's been dry brining for 24 hours now. You'll see there's no moisture on the surface, there's no salt. The salt has been absorbed back into the chop and that's going to lock in the flavour. So the first thing we're going to do is score the skin because we're going to try our best to get some sort of crispy crackling on there. I always fail at this with a chop, I don't know why, but we'll give it a go. So take a nice sharp knife and we're just going to make some incisions down the skin like so. And we're just going to go down, down, all the way along, just from the just from the fat down to the skin, all the way down. And this is going to help the fat render. Um, and hopefully, we we'll get some sort of crackling on there. But we shall see. We're now just going to go through the middle, just along each of those, just to give us some nice little sections. So there we go. Remember, we've already brined this, so we've already salted this, but I'm gonna put a little bit of extra salt just on the skin, um, and then we're gonna rub some oil on here and put a bit of uh, Cajun rub on there, Cajun seasoning, but you can put a rub of your choice on, whatever you fancy. So we're gonna take some salt and just get that back on that skin, and we want it to go into the incisions that we just made. Don't have to go too crazy with the salt. Remember, we have already salted this when we dry brined it. Now onto the meat, we're just gonna go with just a touch of oil and just rub that into the meat all over. So that's the meat ready for the rub. Like I said, you can use your favourite barbecue rub, you can make yourself a Cajun seasoning. I was lucky enough to be bought some of this uh, DJ barbecue Cajun seasoning back from the States, so I'm going to use this. So I'm just going to apply this just to the meat and we're going to apply it all over the meat. Cajun goes really well with pork, so we're just going to slap that liberally all over the meat. And that's it, that's our monster pork chop ready for the grill. Remember this has been dry brined overnight and all we've done is some basic oil and Cajun rub. So let's go and fire up the grill and get her on. So we're gonna start skin side down, we're gonna pop the lid down so we don't get any flare ups. Just for 30 seconds to a minute, just to give that skin a head start. And now what we're gonna do is sear this beast on all sides. So we're gonna go one side first, flat down against the grill and lid down. So we're now going to move this over to the indirect side, but we're going to put the fat nearest to the fire. So we're just going to move that there the fat's closest to the fire. The hope is that the increased heat on this side will give us crispy bits. We're just going to pop the lid down now and finish this off indirect until we reach an internal temperature of 63 degrees Celsius. So that there is my dish of the week. Dry brined, double cut, monster pork chop with Cajun seasoning, seared and then cooked indirect. Smells amazing. We've got nice crispy crackling bits. I think we're on to a winner. I'm gonna slice in and show you how we've done. We've got ourselves juicy little Crispy bits, as you can hear. The chop is cooked to perfection. We've cooked it to 63 degrees. It's retained so much moisture in there. It is honestly really, really juicy. So that's my dish of the week. Double cut, monster pork chop. It's been dry brined for 24 hours. Finished with occasion seasoning, seared, and then finished off indirect. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you'll give this a go. And stay tuned to see what we've got next week.